million dollar plumbers focus on providing the experience. Mm -hmm. And again, just as we laid out all the way through, not just when you're on the job, that's just a small portion of it all the way through. So. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 380th episode of Potty Talk. We have a fun episode here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be discussing how to build a plumbing business. <laughs> now, that's kind of just... Well, we're going to get that all in 20 minutes. All those... <laughs> we're <laughs> good. Those, well, I'm, really what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out three keys that you must have in place okay. to build a million-dollar plumbing business. Alrighty. Okay, so three things you should have in place, okay. and I'll go as far as saying you must be in place. Well, let's okay. hear it. All right, so mm -hmm. you want to get at it. Let's I get do. at it. Let's all right, let's hit key number one, all right? Mm -hmm. Provide a quality experience. Mm -hmm. You know, you notice I didn't say service. Provide okay. quality service. That's experience. the thing. It's not experience. All right. Provide a quality experience, okay? Because the, the customer expects the service. Expects you to do good plumbing. Right. I mean, that's, mm -hmm. that's why they, 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 they call better. it. better. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. they, they, they expect that. Right. Okay. So, yes, we're going to do, you know, take care of the customer. And, yes, we're going to, you know, do great work, all that kind of stuff. Of course. Mm -hmm. All right. We kind of, I like your, you know, how you joke about it. You but. bring this up. Mm -hmm. Being the basketball fan, oh. you know, which, which <laughs> the lovely Laura is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, for, okay. <laughs> It's been a while. It's been a yes. while. Yes, I grew up in Indiana, so there you go. Basketball. You okay. Basketball. All right. Yes. Well, you know, you're seven foot, seven you know, foot tall. eight inches, right? And you dunk the ball, and then you're all woohoo! Look at me. Like, well, you, okay, you didn't have to do anything, right? right. right. Of you're, course, you're you supposed do that. to dunk the ball, okay? If you're seven foot eight, so. But to win the game, I expect you know, I, you expect you to be able to do that, right? But win the games, okay? Win, exactly. And, and the clutch situations and that kind of stuff, okay? Right. There, there, there's a difference. Mm -hmm. Same thing goes for you with, um, you know, providing a quality experience. Mm -hmm. the, the customer expects the service. Right. Um, so it, it is, it's forgettable. Mm -hmm. What is not forgettable mm -hmm. and which is memorable is the experience that right. you provide. How did you make them feel about the experience from the moment, really, before they even called you? Right. Before they called you, you your billboards, you know, some of our, our clients are, are wrapping bus, you know, buses, city buses, which looks amazing. Yes. Um, how, how did, when they're seeing your trucks out and about, when, check this one out, when you're at the gas station in your truck, you know, you've got your nice plumbing truck, and you waltz into the gas station and you don't hold the door open for someone, Right. That's an experience as well. That's something that they remember. So even yeah. before they even call you, what's the experience? Experience online. Do the social media. What's your social media look like? Do you have a whole bunch of pictures pulling out, you know, junk from drains and being all proud of the big hair clog I'm, you I'm glad out? you brought that. That is so important. That that experience doesn't make them feel good. Or you, mm -hmm. I love, you know, online to show the pictures of the yard. We're all proud that we tore the yard up. <laughs> you know, we're, we're, this is the kind of work we can do. Right. But that doesn't make them feel good about no, their home. No. You, you're going to do that. I don't want You're going to do that to my yard. Oh, all the, no. I work so hard on right. my plants and all that. Yeah, I'm not having you here. Even right. though they know they may need it <laughs> done. They don't want to see the bunch of dirt and holes in the yard. They right. don't want to see it. So it's the experience long before they call you for sure. But then from the moment you answer the phone, guys, if you're the ones answering the phones, go back and listen to some body talks. You are the last person that should be on the phone. But you have yes. someone friendly <laughs> on the phone who is answering the questions, makes them feel comfortable, and gets them scheduled, right? So the ex that's the first part of the experience. And then I don't know how much further you want to go, but from when you show up to the house. Right. If, how you show up the house, where you, how you park the truck. Mm -hmm. um, do you, how do you, you walk up to the door? You know, when you show up, you're showing up. They, Mrs. Jones knows you're there. Right. Okay. And she's watching through mm -hmm. the you know, blinds, Always you know, watching. looking through. And so are you walking through the grass? <laughs> Or are you coming up the driveway and going through the walkway and that kind right. of stuff? Are oh. you grabbing the newspaper that's at the end? Are you maybe bringing the trash can up that's are, empty? Are you flicking a cigarette out as mm -hmm. you're walking up? You know, mm -hmm. those kinds of things. Right. At the door, how it feels at the door. You ride up on the door and it's like, hey, baby. Yeah. Let me in. You know, right, kind of a thing. Or mm -hmm. not even saying, uh -uh. you know, you just grunt or whatever. Right. right. Or you stand, you know, how, how everything at the door. The experience. From the experience of when she's showing you stuff, you know, are, are you, is she, you have your energy there. Are you mm -hmm. listening? Right. Okay. Do you have it, your pants pulled up? Yes. Let's be clear. Okay. Pull your pants up. There we go. <laughs> you know, all right, a clean uniform. We'll go that far. Right. Well, I was just on a job. I was on a plumber. I was just on a job. It was dirty. You know, you know it's all it's all the, ex the experience right. matters. Yes. Okay. Give the experience to Mrs. Jones. All the way through to, you know, diagnosing it again and, and, and providing options, mm -hmm. how, how you go through that process. How, how, you, how you collect. Right. You, how, how comfortable it is to collect. Uh, you go through that process mm -hmm. to even as you're leaving, the thank you and you're leaving. 
even after the job's all done, the follow up. Right. Is there a nice call? You know, did, did we take Happy care of you call. today? Right. Right. All yep. those kinds of things. That's, that's the experience. That's what matters. That's what Mrs. Jones will tell her neighbor. Correct. You know. Exactly right. Um, and none of that had to do with plumbing. Yes. Because you need to do good plumbing. That's just what you do. Provide the whole experience. If you if you do the opposite of all the things we just said, what she's going to tell her neighbor was this guy waltzed in. He thought he was a know-it-all. He smelled. He butt crack was hanging out. He charged me a fortune. I had no idea what I was paying for. I'm sure I could have got it done somewhere else cheaper. I just feel totally ripped off, right? That's the experience that, unfortunately, a lot of the hacks out there are doing. Be different. Be a professional plumbing business and provide the entire experience for your customer. Right. Million dollar plumbers focus on providing the experience. Mm -hmm. And again, just as we laid out, all the way through, not just when you're on the job. That's that's just a small portion of it. Mm -hmm. All the way through. So provide a quality experience. Mm -hmm. All right. Next, you want to build a strong online presence. You do. Yes. You got to be there. We are an online world. Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. And so there we're talking talking about a few different things. We're talking about the website, of course. Of course. Okay. The website. We'll come back to that. Google. It's a Google world. Okay. Write it all you want. All right. And then social. Mm-hmm. You know, what, what are you doing? You know, how, how you're on social. So, right. you know, going back to, you know, to the website, you got you to gotta have a clean website. That's user-friendly. Right. That's up to date. Don't have some old website out there. People know when a website's old right. and, and, you know, outdated. We, we know, right? So spend some money, get a website that's updated so that it's, it feels like you're, you're still involved in the business, not just something that you put up. You know, in 2002, when you, you, it's the same thing and it looks all clunky and whatever. Right. Make sure your website is, is user-friendly and gives the information for the customer. The main thing is how to book a call. Yes. How to call you, book a call. I'm so glad you said that. Mm-hmm. These websites will tell you that we do this and this and this and this and this and this and this. and All, all on the front whatever. page all and you got to search for the phone uh, number. Right. They, mm-hmm. they don't care. No, okay. They don't care. In fact, it's, da- it's dangerous to say everything you do because mm-hmm. if you don't happen to list the one thing that they're doing, well, I, I have water dripping from my lavatory. Mm-hmm. You said you serve, you know. You, you mentioned drips <laughs> under a kitchen sink, so right. whatever, whatever, you know, okay, that kind but of then thing. you don't take care of that. Right. Mm-hmm. And it, it, it's that simple. No, you want to just make it as clean as possible that um, we're taking care of you today. It's like right. schedule now, schedule now, mm-hmm. schedule now. Happy and, customers on the front page. Right. Mm-hmm. Happy. No mug shots. You know, I always like this <laughs> ones. I see the ones where they got their guys looking cool by their truck or With their arms or, cro- crossed, crossed and, and like, you know, it's the cool shot. Nobody's smiling. Right. None of, none, none of, of that. that. In fact, it, it, this is the area where it is worth paying you know, for a, you know, a professional, um, photographer, yes. t- take some shots of your stuff. Yes. Okay. No, no canned shots. No, 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 no. Yeah. Don't, don't get any of the, the, um, what do you call it? Not canned. What is it? Stock, stock, stock right. photos out on, on the website. You know, spend a little bit of money. It doesn't cost a lot. Find a photographer in your area area who will come out and take pictures of you and your uniform, nice clean uniform of your truck. Um, get those pictures taken, um, in summer. Okay, don't don't have the pictures taken in winter where it's gray and dark and unless you live in Florida like we do and it's always green, then that's great. <laughs> but have the pictures taken in, in spring or, you know, sometime when there's foliage and, and life and sunshine and, and all that. Right. Yes. And not of work tore up, you know, back to the work pictures. Don't show some work of even if it's not a tore up yard or some, you know, that we think is real heavy duty, but showing like um, a tankless water heater and how and I, we like that. That's just beautiful. But that says nothing. The, the to them. perfect no lines. Motion, right. Of right. all the perfect lines. We, we get into that. Right. And mm-hmm. the equipment. The nope. customer, it has nothing there. Okay? She don't care. Guys, she doesn't care. All she cares about, you're going to get me some hot water and you're going to get out of my house. Right. That's so, what she cares about. So your website, you know, that's professionally done. So it's, it's, it's SEO, search engine optimized. Mm-hmm. All right. So you can show up. Okay. That's how you beat the big companies. You can be a little guy and you can beat the big companies when things are doing done right. right. Okay. And it doesn't have to be a lot of pages. It's just, you know, here we are. They can see that you're a real company. They, you look safe and, and fun and happy. And, oh, right here, we, we call us now. That's yep. right. It's easy to call. Okay. Here's where I can... Okay, there's a number, you know, whatever. Super right, easy. Right now. Mm-hmm. I can get a hold of them right Picture now. Picture your truck. If you've got a great truck, right. obviously put it out there because hopefully they've seen your truck in, out and about, right, in the neighborhood and, and around the town, around the city. See, see your truck, and then they're, it's like, oh, yeah, okay, I've seen that truck before. So that gives um, familiarity. Right. So, you all know. right. All right. That's so, the yeah, experience. the website. Mm-hmm. Now we're on the Google, okay? Mm-hmm. Look, this is, you know, I, I'm, for those, you know, for those who are watching, okay, I'm, hol- I'm holding my, my phone. Mm-hmm. 
my cell phone here, okay? And this is my smartphone. And this is how everyone called. This is the phone book of the day. My, <laughs> well, my youngins need- don't know what I'm talking to. They don't know what a phone book is. But there was a time we used to have these books that were four inches thick. They used as a high chair, too. Right. Okay. You can fit your kids on. Right. Sit at the, sit at the table. Home for seat. All right. And, uh, you know, and you look up for plumbers and you had had, had, had in there. That's not what how things work today. They pick up their phone and they Google you know, plumber near me. And you, you've got about three seconds to catch their attention. You have to pop up there. you got to pop okay, up. you, you gotta, got to play that game. you got to yeah. be there in the LSAs and the, the, mm-hmm. the GMBs, yes. okay? Sometimes right. pay-per-click if it works in your area, and that's that's always a crapshoot. But, yeah, you've got to be on, on Google. If you don't know um, much about LSAs, Google local service ads, you need to find out. You, you need to go do some research. We've had a couple experts on our on Potty Talk as well, um, but LSAs are – you, you've got to be on LSAs and GMB, Google My Business. That's the maps. Um, to, and that's a free listing. You've got to be on You've got to be on there. Got to be there. Got to okay. be there. It's, it's, it's where your customers are going. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. You, gotta, is, you, can't, you can't survive on referrals. Okay. No. And you're certainly not going to become a, a million-dollar plumbing company and beyond mm-hmm. on, referrals. on referrals. Okay. You've mm-hmm. got, you got to play the Google game. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then finally, it's, it's a social world too. Mm-hmm. Okay. Social is just – it's kind of like – it's the old yard signs in the neighborhood, right. okay? Mm-hmm. So you're not selling on social, mm-hmm. and you're not talking plumbing on social, mm-hmm. okay? What you're saying is we're your neighbor, right. okay? Um, or to what we like you. to, like we, you know, we teach our clients mm-hmm. of becoming the, the mayor or the cheerleader of, of the neighborhood or the town mm-hmm. or whatever. So, so like you're showing off. Of course, you're wearing, you know, you can still be wearing your, your plumbing business garb, the nice garb, right. okay? Your not, nice, your not your tech, but your right. owner shirt, right? Right, so mm-hmm. your, your owner shirt and, and could even, you know, so they know, and you may be wearing an owner, nice owner hat, you know, of your plumbing business, you know, and, and here we are, we're here at the Walmart and we got the local fire department, you know, are uh, raising money to help, you know, kids with, um, that need uh, back to school, Right. School mm-hmm. supplies or whatever. Tell tell us, you know, what, what you're doing here. Right. All right. And so you're 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 wearing a, a, you know awareness. You're right. raising awareness, or mm-hmm. your your posts are uh, pictures of you and your family and your you know next your truck and you're smiling and or pictures of you. You know, you're at the local farmers market. Or the, and, yeah, and yeah. your truck's there, and right. or the local pizza joint or whatever. Just showing that right. you're a part. Your business is a part of the community. Right. Um, and uh, social media is a long play. Again, people are not going onto social media for the most part and saying, "I need a plumber," and then they go out to social media and start scrolling. That's normally not what happens. When you're on social media, it is important to be on social media done right. Um, it's, it's a branding play, and it's a long play. Yes, mm-hmm. and it's it's very important to do it right. You were not again. We're not doing you know job picks. And look look what I look what I pulled out of the sewer. <laughs> you know, and you got this big you know sewer rat. No, you know? unless it's an right. actual cat or something that you pulled out. Then everybody like you loves saved, that. And you got you, you, know, you got the, the little cat. lady going, oh, <laughs> isn't my plumber is great? He saved my cat. You know that that then, kind of then stuff. Then you can if you pull that out of a drain, then yes, you get to yeah. post An- that one. Animals and kids always work. So <laughs> so if you got that little, you know, you're working underneath the kitchen sink, and you got the the, the little dog that's just you know he wants to be your little helper, and you, you ask Mrs. Jones, can I can I take a, a picture of the you know with me and the dog here helping me and smiling and look, look who my helper is. You know, in a fun way, and right. do that those kinds of things. Of mm-hmm. course, they're kids. Mm-hmm. Of course, we're asking Mrs. Jones if we can take the picture with the kids and that kind of mm-hmm. stuff. But those kinds of situations, mm-hmm. okay? Um, even a happy customer, just a customer who really enjoyed you being there and you enjoyed the customer. Hey, would you mind if I get a picture of us, do a you know, selfie? And if they want, yeah. do a video re- review right there, video right. testimonial. Real quick, doesn't have to be a five-minute interview. It's 20 seconds, right? Yes. But something that's unique, I think you got to think outside the box, especially if you're smaller. you got to think outside the box. How can my customer get to know me and like me and trust me, right, Out, outside of spending tons of money um, to get noticed. So, right. And those are simple, easy, easy things to do. And a key to remember, you know, you want to be looking nice. you got to be aware of those kinds of things. Mm-hmm. So before you get that pick with, uh, you know, the customer or the video mm-hmm. and you happen to be, you're, you've gotten dirty in your uniform, go back to try to get a clean shirt on. You always have another clean shirt you know, on your and truck. Those kinds of, so you're looking sharp because that's how you're presenting your, your company. That's, that, that's how, you know, in passing, subconsciously you're saying, look, look at, you know, here we are, and look how good we are, how clean we are, how friendly right. we are. We're your neighbors, you know, that kind of thing. Yep. All right, customers buy from those they know, they like, like, so they get to know you by seeing you on social because you're, you're, you're driving by, okay? Mm-hmm. They get to like you because you, you know. Seem friendly. Seem friendly mm-hmm. or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then they'll, they'll possibly give you the trust, okay? Right. That's when, when you get out there. Mm-hmm. But the social drives, too, again, how the social works is when they do go to Google, 
and say plumbers near me, mm-hmm. and up pops your plumbing company mm-hmm. next to Roto Rooter or the big you know the big national brand or whatever. Right. It's like oh I know these. I've seen them. I've seen. Them. Yeah. I know them. Yeah. You know I like them. Exactly. Right. And that's how it works. Exactly. So you gotta build a strong online presence. Okay. Got to play that game. Got it. All right, I'll get to point number three here okay. in just a moment. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back with you. Every call is an opportunity for your plumbing business. Stop missing those opportunities with Plumbline. Plumbline is a 24-7, 365 days a year answering service exclusively for professional plumbing companies. Whether you're the plumber owner still in the truck who needs someone to answer the phone, need the service line answered nights and weekends, just want to catch those overflow calls, Plumbline is a no-brainer. Sign up with Plumbline today. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash Plumbline and mention that you're a Potty Talk listener to receive priority onboarding. All right. Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. Okay. All right. So we're talking about how to grow a plumbing business. Mm-hmm. Three keys to building a million-dollar plumbing business. And we yes. talked about, number one, providing a quality experience. Mm-hmm. Number two, build a strong online presence. And then finally, number three, have a right mindset. Okay, before you go there, I want to remind everybody we are on all the social media channels. Would love if you go out and give us a follow, a like, a subscribe, all the things. Give us a review. If you're listening to um, your favorite podcast player, just give us a review. Um, you guys know how the algorithm, al- I keep, I always trip up on algorithms, algorithms. right? You know how those how the specific <laughs> algorithms work, work. <laughs> right? So we would appreciate giving a review. Let us know that you love the show. All right. Mm-hmm. Give, give us some love. Okay. <laughs> Share some love. All right. Mm-hmm. Appreciate it. Okay. All right. We're talking about number three here yes. have a right mindset okay okay what do i mean by that what's well, the right purpose mm-hmm. right <laughs> the right people and the right process <laughs> you ever heard that before okay <laughs> those are our three pillars mm-hmm. that you must have right. okay to build a million dollar plumbing plumbing business mm-hmm. okay so when i'm talking about the right purpose mm-hmm. okay you got to know why you're doing what you're doing mm-hmm. just very quickly yeah okay? your why gotta you know, know your why yes yeah, so you, you got to know why you're doing what you're doing it's not because you love plumbing Okay. And we kind of touched on it here when we talked about, you know, the experience in these kinds of things. It has nothing to do with plumbing. Like we don't want to show plumbing. Right. All right. So it ain't about plumbing. Okay. But why are you doing what you're doing? You got to have the right purpose. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next, you have to have the right people. Right. Okay. And of course, the right people working for you, you know, that kind of a thing. And I'm talking about that. But more importantly, I'm talking about your customer. Mm -hmm. The right customer. Serving the right customer. So right. Not, not everyone is your customer. Not everyone has a plumbing problem, all right, is your customer. Correct. Okay, so you, you got to have the right customer, mm-hmm. all right, the right people. And then finally, the right process mm-hmm. in place. Okay, you can't be working off pen and paper and, and those kinds oh, of things gosh. and just showing up and doing, you know, milly milly or whatever. What just Answer. Uh, Answering the phone underneath the sink while, you know, Mrs. the other Mrs. Jones who's in the house is kind of watching and you're answering some other call and you're kind of rude and short and you're, you know, stumbling to find a piece of paper out of, you know, out of your pocket to write down the next job or whatever. Right. right? That, that's not a process. That right. just, and that does not make a plumbing company. Right. And, and, and I just want to reiterate these things that we're talking about is how to grow a plumbing business. Right. How to grow a plumbing business. And I know we talked about giving experience and, um, having a strong online presence, that's how to grow the business. But these things, these are big. And we've done an awful lot of podcasts, um, potty talks on this. But to me, that these are the keys, making sure that you do have the right purpose, people, and process. Um, it, and the, it's easy to gloss over. They are the foundation, foundational mm-hmm. pillars. Mm-hmm. I mean, that these, those three things are the thing. Mm-hmm. Okay, the, the, right, the right purpose, the right people, and the right process. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. And there's, you know, it, they are the foundational pillars. Yes. We've done other, other podcasts yes, on go, those. Yeah, go back you can and check those out. For sure. And of course, uh, you know, in our Success Academy, the Million Dollar Plumber Success Academy, that we go through all those. You know, we go co- in, cover it in, in, in depth. depth. Okay. Yes. And, and they're really, it's really pretty simple. Okay. These are um, not easy. Right. I always, always throw that in there because we think, well, okay. And that, in, in marketing wise, in terms, that's why I don't, I don't like to say, I, I don't do it, but I, I don't like when others, do this when they say these are the three easy steps. Three, <laughs> nothing's easy. Nothing's all right? easy. All right, building a a, a a true professional plumbing business, mm-hmm. and and doing make you know being a million dollar plumber and beyond. Mm-hmm. Okay, certainly beyond. Okay, it's not easy. No. It is simple. Mm-hmm. I'm here to tell you, it's simple. If this right. simple dude, all right, <laughs> can be the million dollar plumber and beyond. Okay, 
um, you certainly can, all right? <laughs> um, so it, it is, they are simple. It's just not easy. Mm-hmm. So when we're talking about, you know, the right, the right purpose, mm-hmm. okay? You really have to narrow it down. You, right. you have to know, what, and we've said it a million times, you got to know why you're doing what you're doing. You have to know with, with certainty and with um, clarity and um, really, and um, well, how, do, how do I say it? In living color. And you remember you back, okay. you know, we're, we're old, okay? So oh, you remember golly. back in the 60s, you know, early, six, early 60s, you sell black and white TVs, yes. even the mid-60s. I do remember And then that. the shows would start, and you know, watch your favorite. I, I could, the shows would start, I, they became color. Right. Well, right. I can remember watching Gunsmoke. Okay, go. You guys Google <laughs> Gunsmoke, uh, the TV series Gunsmoke. Miss Kitty. Okay, Miss Kitty, and, oh, you know, goodness. right, sure. Esther. Right, yeah, right. No. Festus. I don't know. Is that Festus, right? the deputy, whatever. <laughs> okay, it was stop. always in black and white. Yes. But I re- remember when it went to color. Mm-hmm. And it was like, and it would come on now, you know. Living uh, color. In living color. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Well, that's what you got. You have to have your why down in living color. It can't yes. be black and white. Mm-hmm. And okay. meaning, you got to be specific. Right. You got to be specific about what your why is. You know, if the type of house you want, the, exactly where you want to live. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just fall <laughs> go in my throat. Um, to the car that you want to drive, to the charities that you that you want to support, to the college you want your kids to do, go to, whatever it is. Again, you got to put color on it. You got to put a picture to it. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And then back to you know the right people again, the right the right customer. Mm-hmm. All right, it's knowing who your customer is, mm-hmm. even down to you know even down to giving them a name. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know, we had our customer. Mm-hmm. Who was Mrs. Actually, Jones. Mrs. Jones. Mrs. Jones. That's why I say Mrs. Jones to this day. Mm-hmm. And but you got to know, like, what, what's what's their income? What areas of town do they live in? Um, are they professional? Are they, you know, all, all the things. Really narrowing it down so that when you're doing your marketing and when you're doing your social media and you're putting yourself out there, you know that you, who specifically you're speaking to. So not trying to cert, be everything to everybody. And, and we get it. When you start your plumbing business, you're, you're like, just, I'm, you're, I won't take any you're job. You're just scrapping for work. You're, you're right? doing everything. You've got commercial. You've got new construction. You've got remodels. You've got some service, all the things, right? You're going to die that way. And we know that. We know that because that's how we started out and it almost killed our plumbing business. Right. At, at best, you're, it's like it's like driving on ice. You know, you're, you're just you're all over the place. Right. Okay. No matter what you do, you're just all over the place and you're not getting anywhere. Mm. Okay. But as soon as possible, you want to get to where you're just, this is who I work for. This right. is who I work for. Yes. And, and it's a beautiful thing. When I remember one of our clients recently, um, a customer had called in and was really drilling on price or something and she they knew that who their avatar was their mrs jones their customer was so much she knew that this customer was not their customer and she said you know what it sounds like you know we're, we're not going to be able to service you the way you want what i can do is recommend another plumbing company and you give them a call and the guy was floored right well, well what, you know what my business she said it just sounds like we're, we're not going to be a good fit she called me later and said that was such a good feeling to know that I now know who my customer is and not to mess with the ones that I'm never going to make happy. Right. Right. So yeah, right. that was a, so the right, the right people. Memory. And then finally the right process. Okay. There is, there is a method to the madness. Okay. <laughs> a right method mm-hmm. to get you where to become a million dollar plumber. Right. All right. So you got, you got to have that right process in place as well. Yes. All right. So you, and again, we've got lots of podcasts, um, potty talks on that really recommend you do that. Um, but we also, um, have it other places like in, Yes. The Success Academy. And the Success Academy. <laughs> all right. You can check out the Success Academy at mm-hmm. milliondollarplumber.com. Mm-hmm. Okay. Forward slash success. Forward slash success. Mm-hmm. Okay. Or if you're interested in just knowing more about this, okay, and just, you know, is this a right fit or just, um, you just want to be pointed in the right direction, you can schedule a free strategy call with us. Okay. It's free. There's no pressure there. Simply go to the milliondollarplumber.com forward slash call. C A L L and schedule your free strategy call. We'd love okay? to talk with you and, and see where you're at, where you want to go, and see how we can help get you there. At at the minimum, you're going to come out knowing what's uh, you know what uh, obstacles are in front of you, mm-hmm. and a plan to get over them Absolutely. or around them or mm-hmm. under them. Okay, or blow at, them up. Right <laughs> at a minimum. Okay, so and it's free. All right, mm-hmm. and again, no pressure. So there you go. Okay. All right, there we go. Okay, how to grow a plumbing business or more. More directly, how to grow a million-dollar plumbing business. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. Great show. All right. So there you have it. Mm -hmm. Hey, it was great having you here, as always. But before we let you go, we want to remind you that you were purposely and wonderfully created, and you were created to do great things. So plumb like a champion. Bye, everybody.